this is Matt from Gaslamp Computers and in this video I'm going to show you how to reconfigure your Firefox interface to maximize uh, your viewable area and I'm going to focus on the netbook today uh, because netbooks have very small screens and their resolution is generally 1024 by 600 uh, I'm going to do this video uh, using no Firefox extensions, simply the built-in functionality of the Firefox client. So first of all, let's take a look at what Firefox looks like uh, by default. You see we have a tab bar here, we have the bookmarks toolbar folder, we have a navigation bar, and then we have the menu bar. And down here we have a status bar. Uh, what the status bar does is when you know when you scroll over an item or a link uh, it gives you it shows the link down in the status bar uh, it also shows when if you click on a link it shows the progress bar down here um, bookmark toolbar folder you can drag bookmarks up into it uh, the navigation bar has all of your buttons for your home screen uh, and the search bar over here so let's go through these and disable them one by one and I'll show you how much more screen uh, real estate you'll have. So first of all let's uh, disable this uh, tab right here when we just have one tab open. So if we go to tools, options, and then the tab and unclick always show the tab bar and click OK and that makes it go up now if we're opening up another tab for instance then the tab bar will reappear but when we just have one tab open the tab bar disappears and that gives us some extra uh, viewing area okay if you don't use the bookmarks toolbar then you can get rid of it just right click and uncheck bookmarks toolbar. Uh, you can still access your bookmarks by clicking bookmarks up here or in just a second I'll show you how to add a bookmarks icon. So next we can move all of this stuff from the navigation window up to the menu bar right here. We do this by right clicking and clicking customize and now you can drag and drop wherever you want your buttons. So I'll drag and drop all these buttons up here in the same order they were and click done okay so now you see that these have all been incorporated into one bar and we no longer have use for the navigation toolbar so we can uncheck that and you see we get a little bit more room and now uh, I'll show you how to add a your bookmarks button. You can drag a bookmarks button wherever you want to in here. I'll just set it right there. Click done. And what this will do is it'll open up a bookmarks menu on the side uh, because generally you're going to be confined by uh, vertical real estate and horizontal will be okay. So you can look at your bookmarks that way and then close it when you're done. Uh, Next, if you prefer, you can disable the status bar down here as well. To do that, click View and uncheck Status Bar, and now that goes away. So we can see that we have a lot more viewable space here now that we've made those tweaks. And uh, we can see that um, we're able to see this line right here located at the southern end of the gas lamp district and uh, let's see how far down we can see uh, on the default screen okay so here's the default menu pack and we'll see how far we can see down it gets we get to this line right here we offer the best value so let's scroll down and see how long it takes to get to where we were. Okay, so this is how far down we could see uh, with all of the modifications 
and this is how far down we can see uh, with the default view. So as you can see, you gain a lot of screen real estate. It's a lot less scrolling, and uh, it makes the web easier to use. So I hope this video has helped you out. Uh, if you notice, I did this video without using any Firefox extensions. There are some extensions that uh, can be used to further tweak this. Uh, there's an experimental extension that will allow you to move all of this stuff up into the title bar since the title bar has quite a bit of unused uh, wasted space. But that's not something that you can currently do without installing an add-on. Uh, there's also another extension that allows you to uh, configure how the status bar behaves. So you can disable it for most of the time, and then when you scroll over a link, it'll pop up and let you know uh, where that link will take you. So hope this video has helped you out. If you have any questions, leave me a comment or check out the blog at gaslampcomputers.com.